First of all, we will discuss about the terminology used in Mendelian genetics. Gene is a factor which is responsible for expression of a trait. It is also called as unit of heredity. Mendel used factor word for expression of trait, while gene term was given by Johansson in 1909. Alleles are the alternative forms of a gene present at same locus on homologous chromosomes. As shown in the diagram, capital T and small t are alleles, capital A and small a are alleles, and capital D and small d are alleles, which are present on the same locus on homologous chromosomes. Hybrid is a progeny produced by a cross between two parent plants having different contrasting characters. Hybrid is divided into two categories, monohybrid and dihybrid. In monohybrid cross, contrasting characters of a single trait are considered as capital T capital T cross small t small t. While in dihybrid cross, contrasting characters of two traits are considered as capital T, capital T, capital R, capital R, cross, small t, small t, small r, small r. When two plants are crossed up in two different ways by changing their sex as male and female, then it is called as reciprocal cross. As shown in the diagram, in first cross, Plant A is used as male parent and plant B is used as female parent, while in second cross plant A is used as female parent and plant B is used as male parent. Hence, cross 2 is known as reciprocal cross. When F1 hybrid is crossed up with its any one parent plant, then it is called as back cross. As shown in the diagram, F1 hybrid is produced by cross between plant parents A and B. Now, if this F1 hybrid is crossed up with parent A or B, then it is called as back cross. When F1 hybrid is crossed up with its recessive parent plant, then it is called as test cross. Test cross is held to find out whether F1 progeny is a hybrid or not. 1 is to 1 test cross ratio represent that F1 progeny is hybrid. As shown in the diagram, pure tall plant is crossed up with pure dwarf plant to produce F1 hybrid. Now, this F1 progeny is crossed with its pure dwarf parent plant to detect whether it is hybrid or not. Phenotype is the external appearance of any genetic trait of plant. This term was given by Johansson in 1909. Genotype is the representation of genetic constitution of an organism. This term was also given by Johansson in 1909. When pure parent plants with contrasting characters are crossed up, the F1 hybrid is produced. In F1 hybrid plant, only one contrasting character is expressed which is called dominant character and another contrasting character is suppressed which is called recessive character. As shown in the diagram, when a pure tall plant is crossed up with pure dwarf plant, F1 hybrid progenies produced which are tall in nature. It means tallness is a dominant character while dwarfness is a recessive character. In homozygous condition, same type of alleles are present on same locus on homologous chromosomes. For example, capital T, capital T, small t, small t, capital R, capital R, small r, small r, etc. Homozygous term was given by Bateson in 1902. 
in heterozygous condition different types of alleles are present on same locus on homologous chromosomes for example capital t small t capital r small r etc heterozygous term was given by bateson in 1902 next we will discuss about the mendel's laws of inheritance there are three laws of mendel which were made by karl korens after the rediscovery of mendelism in 1900 these laws are law of dominance law of segregation and law of independent assortment according to law of dominance when two pure parents with contrasting characters are crossed up a hybrid f1 progeny is produced only one contrasting character is expressed in f1 progeny which is called as dominant character while other contrasting character is suppressed which is called as recessive character as shown in the diagram pure tall plant is crossed with pure dwarf plant produced f1 progeny is tall in nature it means here tallness is dominant character and dwarfness is recessive character incomplete dominance and codominance are the exceptions of law of dominance law of segregation is also known as law of purity of gametes according to this law both the alleles get separated during the formation of gametes this is called segregation as a result produced gametes are 100% pure as shown in the diagram capital t and small t alleles get separated in gametes according to law of independent assortment segregation of alleles of a gene is totally independent from segregation of alleles of another gene thus all type of new combinations can be made this is due to crossing over as shown in the diagram four types of gametes are produced from a dihybrid progeny linkage is an exception of this law of independent assortment 